Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Eden Star. It is a game that is still in alpha, and you are a survivor who has come down to this planet, and you have to try to survive the night and day of its creatures, apparently. So, there is a survival aspect, there is crafting, and all kinds of fun stuff. So, I'm very interested to play the game. Uh, it was given to me by the company, um, and so let us go ahead and um, and try it out. So we're going to go ahead and create a new game. I did read up on the game a little bit, so I should have some kind of information on it. By the way, I don't know if this is something that they're going to be fixing, but that is a screen that you get every time you start the game. Okay. All right, so it looks like there's a something over there that we have to go get. There's W A S D. There's space to jump, shift to run. Um, left click is some kind of um, thing. Right click is, looks like it's harvesting. Um, and this is what we dropped in on, or dropped in. It's a ilium drop pad. So apparently we can right click it. I'm gonna grab all of the resources out of it. So if you're wanting to build something, it uses the resources that you have to create that item. So, I think we need a lot of trees. I'm going to go ahead and get a lot of stuff harvested um, as soon as possible. Just because I don't know how hard the game is going to be yet. And I, I always try to get as many, um, as many things harvested as I can in a survival game. Uh, because you don't know when you're going to need them. Some uh, little things that I'm noticing around my uh, my screen is I have a nightfall countdown, which is, I'm guessing is telling me how long until nightfall. I am also seeing a radioactive um, a, a radioactive symbol on the right hand top side so i'm guessing something will become radioactive or uh maybe there's materials that i will have to deal with that are radioactive i don't know and um it does give you hints of what it wants you to do so um yeah and i'm seeing that there's a blue bar over a white bar so I don't know if that is stamina or if that is a shield. Um, and the white part is your actual health. No clue, <laughs> to be honest. So um, let's go ahead and get this broken down. I like how these come apart. It's just kind of neat. What? What was that? That's very weird, that noise. And we should be pretty set. We have 26 fiber. We have 16 protonite. And, um... Should be good. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff. Um, this looks like more ore. And we'll go ahead and get our our pod thing. 15 minutes. <laughs> it's like a looming timer telling you when the world will end. Oh, I can climb trees apparently, but not very far. And I can't stay up on the tree. Um kind of stranded deep is uh esque i guess you would call it to be able to climb up the trees but i uh, can't stay up the tree why would you want to go up the tree 
Uh, the reason that you can go up trees in um, Stranded Deep is because of the fact that you're getting coconuts from the top of the trees. Um, is there any food? I don't see anything up there. Alright, so it's telling us we can craft now. Activate build mode by pressing Q. Alright, so we can build several different things. And um, we can press control scroll and it'll actually change what the item is made out of it looks like. So right there it's made out of ironite is the primary material. Then you have tenel, uh, ceruleum, and ironite. So those are really the three primary uh, things we have. And then these are the things we can make. So this is an armory. Um, it looks like there's uh, plasma fire is what we need. Oh, so um, I kind of like to have an armory before we start building. But I'm thinking with a timer ti um, counting down that we actually need to be building <laughs> before... Before that timer ends? Um, I don't know. I What I'll probably do is put up temporary uh, housing. And then we'll go from there, I guess. So... Just looking for ores. Things that I need. I got a little bit of trees. So I got a little bit of fiber and the um protonite I keep hearing noises like clicks clicks and things oh, i can break this down ceruleum tinnel ironite and bridgmanite go ahead and get this And I think we'll go ahead and right here, since we have all this ore around us that we can break down, I'll go ahead and set up a home here. So let's go ahead and press Q. And um, change category is middle mouse button. Here's a foundation. And let's go ahead and see what our main resource is. That is Bridgmanite. So we'll go ahead and create that. Oops, not that. Hope that didn't take too much away. Create that. Oh, did not mean to do that. And we will create walls. Okay, and let's see, there's the roof. Can I put a roof there? There we go. And we'll close the box <laughs> once we're done. And <laughs> we're going to be weaklings about it. Uh, actually, modifications, we can make armor. Let's see what material actually, because there's resistances. This is heat resistant. This is force resistant. And this is pierce resistant. Oh, don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go with. I'll go with. Um, Those are both pretty much... Actually, that's better. Boom. Okay. Does that work on the top also? Nope. <laughs> Alright, and then all I have to do is... Do I have a door that I can make? 
door. And then... There we go. And then we'll put a door on there whenever it gets to nighttime and we will be protected in our shell. Ha ha! <laughs> At least that's the plan for the first night. Our first home. And hey, at least it has protection. That's all that really matters. Alright, let's go ahead and start farming uh, all this ore. Uh, get more trees, things like that. We, we want, want to be ready because um, I'm guessing I'm guessing that things are gonna go wrong at night especially when you have a radiation thing I'm guessing the radiation thing has to do with something about midnight or whenever it gets nighttime yeah, that's just how it is usually <laughs> said it's everything goes wrong at night let's get all this stuff out of the way Okay, there's one more over here. Keep hearing those clicks. Keep hearing those clicks. I'm not a fan of it. Plan is, now that we have some kind of building to go into, uh, we will probably try to stay out at night and work and if we have to we can go in there that is the plan so we have an inventory so let's go ahead and take a look at that uh we're this way we can see what we have we have two uh teslinium energy uh material this material is the reason you came to forest seven it uh, its mysterious properties allow your equipment to work. Ironite is a metal material. Bridgemonite or Bridgemite, Bridgemanite, Bridgemite. Uh, material, uh, mineral material. Okay, I thought it was about to say material. Material. Energy material is protonite. Uh, plant, uh, plentiful, is it plentiful? Is it, uh, and rather, uh, mild, natural red crystal. Plentiful. Is that a word? I, I'll have to look that up later. Fiber is organic. Uh, aluminum is energy material as well. Tenel is... A metal ceruleum is a metal as well we have ammo so if we have to we can use our trusty gun <laughs> um, I am hoping we can make more weapons than a handgun this is um, I'm liking the feel of this handgun too it, it's fast on the draw and um i like that it has the amount of ammo on it. it shows you right on the back of it how much ammo you have anyway you also have wait for it <laughs> a baton um so we do have ways to defend ourselves if we do run into some sort of monster or creature because who's the real monster it's us right because we're coming onto their planet we're invading their space we're the real monsters i'm kidding um <laughs> but yeah the um i this timer this countdown timer is not working for me it's it's bothers me a lot because we only have four minutes left. And it's a reminder that in so much time, bad things are probably going to be happening. So, yay for us. Um, okay. 
I'm just gonna keep mining, keep doing what I'm doing. Um, mining my own business. Don't want to hurt anybody. I'm gonna just build my own home and I really want to find, what is it again? Plasma fire. Really want to find plasma fire. There we go. Because plasma fire will allow us to make an armory. I'm guessing we need a lot of plasma fire to be able to probably make weapons and ammo and use metals to create um, the bullets. We can also create turrets as well. Uh, defenses. We have an auto turret. We have an energy turret, whatever that means. We have a missile turret and we have a laser post so we can put laser fences around our buildings. So just need to get the stuff and <laughs> we'll be good to go. Plus, I'm guessing the laser fences require a generator, which is one of the things that we can make. And another reason I want to get a lot of resources is because those kind of things are all going to take a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff so we'll spend our first night here and then I want to travel I want to travel around this place this this is the map we it's we have barely even touched the surface of this map that said it scares me to travel around because I don't know what we're going to run into and yeah I hope that we're able to put waypoints down, kind of like to be able to put uh, on the map where certain resources are. Also, I'm wondering, do things repopulate in areas that like this? Will this ore type repopulate in this area again, or am I taking the only source by, uh, by taking this all down? Two minutes, <laughs> two minutes till nighttime. I think what we'll do is we'll do one full cycle per video, uh, a day to night cycle, and then uh, and then end it on the next day. Um, I think that might be best. That way we can see the struggle <laughs> or the lack thereof of struggle um, during the nighttime. There we go. Not seeing any more, so I'll go ahead and get some trees. We have one minute, 25. So, <gasps> well, uh, okay, I've noticed two things since I haven't been paying attention. Uh, my radiation meter is now at four. The other thing I've noticed is there's a red light emanating, emanating from over here. And there's ore right there that I need to get. What if I come over here? Is something going to attack me? Has a health has a health bar. I don't have any other weapons in the one weapon I have on me, and I doubt a handgun is going to do much to that. I'm going to get on my home now and see if it will protect me. Okay, so... Put a door on here. And... Ho-ho! Oh, there we go. We're in our home. Nothing can touch us. Of course, we can't get out either. I'm going to go ahead and take this. It's a way to look outside, isn't it? <laughs> ah, well. I went ahead and took it out. Alright. What in the world are you? Get away from me. What is that?
Okay, so apparently I can use this thing to throw things. I don't, I don't really want to waste ammo. Radiation is bad. Okay. There's an. Oh my god. Is Am I surrounded by red things now? Something that's attacked my home! Get away from my home. We only have four minutes till night time. So I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have. I'm seeing red lights everywhere. What are you? Oh, you're the same thing? I thought it was something different. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. My health is down, too. How do I get my health back up? That's the real question. Um, can I get energy? It says my energy's full. All right, here we go. This is what we're going to do. Really? Okay. I'm getting rid of this. It's probably a bad idea. I see this over here. So I'm going to go try to get it. I'm just going to hope that nothing kills me on the way. I don't know if I said this before. But you only have one life in this game. If you die, you're dead. The radiation is not helping at all um trying to stay away from red lights oh hello a lot of red lights do I have to take these things out I'm guessing and if I try I you know I don't even want to without having some kind of upgraded weapon oh it's turning daylight oh thank goodness all right let's get some more materials uh, I think the plan for us it is going to be to get a true home set up with our foundry and try to figure out where to get um, plasma whatever it's called alright let's go this way I want to see if that place that was up here has that fire whatever it's called it 
had stone that I needed also. There it is. Okay, I... S Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Get the tunnel. I haven't taken any damage yet. Doing damage, doing damage. What's this thing give me anyway? Oh, test lenium. Yeah, I can't take anything away from it that way. Kind of don't want to be near this thing whenever it goes. Oh. Welcome back. <laughs> Where am I being hit from? Where am I being shot from? Hurry up. Still only one bubble down. Oh yeah, there we go. Tislenium. We now have seven. That's how that goes, right there. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and run. Get away from them. Oh my goodness, this is, um, this is a tough game. This is um, one night. That's all we've done so far is one night. And it has beaten us apart. We have our radiation... We have um, a little health. So I think uh, next time we're going to go ahead and build a home. that A proper home. Build the thing that it wants us to build. And I thought I saw. It's very hard to see. Another down capsule. Yeah, there's another one there. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about it, I don't think, right now. But anyway, next time, we'll go ahead and build a home. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.